If you haven't used Reddit ads in a while, you may not know that there are more ad formats than just a basic text ad. So we want to use this video to show you all the main ad formats within Reddit and the specs required. This video will show you what the ads will look like so you can decide if it's something that you may want to test again within Reddit ads. We're going to cover mostly just the promoted ad formats that most advertisers are going to use. But at the very end, we'll briefly show you some of the options for premium takeover ads to see if you really want to step up your game with Reddit ads. The first Reddit ad format we're going to talk about will be the basic Reddit text ad. There are not many components to this ad format within Reddit, so this one will go fairly quick. For a text ad in Reddit, your headline can be 300 characters long, the main body text can be 40,000 characters long, and you can choose whether to enable or disable comments for your ad. And this will be the only time I mention this, but yes, you can allow users to comment on your ad. So let's see what this ad format looks like in Reddit. When we're looking at these examples, I'm mainly going to be focused to the preview that's off to the right hand side. This will give you a better idea of what your ad could look like. This ad format is pretty basic. There's our headline option where we get up to 300 characters. There's the body text where we get up to 40,000 characters. And as of right now, this ad is not allowing comments. So if I check the box, users will be able to click on it and add their own comments. Pretty basic. There's honestly really not too much I can say about this. So let's continue on to the next ad format. The second ad format we're going to talk about for Reddit will be their image ads. Just like a standard text ad, you get 300 characters for the headline. For your image that you will upload to the ad, you can use a JPEG, a ping, or a GIF. File size for the image must be 3 megabytes or less. Depending on the ad placement, your image ad could have a thumbnail preview. The thumbnail image must be 400 by 300 pixels. The thumbnail file size must be 500 kilobytes or less. And just like a text ad, you can enable or disable comments. Now let's get a preview of what this ad format could look like. Here we have already selected the image post type, leaving the headline the same, still get 300 characters. We already went in and added our card image. Next will be the thumbnail image. This is mainly for the preview for the conversations placement. So let me go ahead and add this one. Again, it has to be 400 by 300. I just did an image resizer, had to smush it together because it's not an equal ratio. So plan your images out better than I did for this video. Next, you see a destination URL as well as the display URL. This is the same type of approach with a final URL and a display URL with Google Ads. The root domain must remain the same in both of the fields, but you can keep the message much more simple in your display URL. So if I just paste in our URL, and I'm going to do it again on the display side, but on the display side, I'm just adding in some additional text, and that's what we see in the actual ad preview. Now, certain placements might be too small to actually showcase the display URL, or that part might be cut off, and that's fine. And next, there is an optional call to action. You cannot have a custom option. You have to choose one from the dropdown that Reddit provides. Pretty simple standard stuff, but it is pretty limited too. So this is what an image version looks like. If I go to the view mode, go down to classic. This is an example of why a good thumbnail image is better than just repeating the main card image. And we're going to see this again with the conversation. If we want to take it one step further for these previews, we can go up to more. And besides the view mode, we can also change between devices. So let's go back to the main card image, and then let's see what it looks like on mobile devices. Not too different. Now let's make our ad format a little bit more engaging. The third ad format that we're going to talk about will be Reddit's video ads. This is going to be a common theme here. 300 characters for the headline. For the accepted formats, you get MP4s or .MOVs. The file size for the video must be one gigabyte or less. Next, Reddit recommends four ad ratios. Now it doesn't say mandatory, just recommended. So it's going to be your one to one square, four to five vertical, four to three classic, and the full landscape 16 to nine. And while Reddit allows you to add a video up to 15 minutes long, it's something that they really don't recommend. They really recommend keeping it to 30 seconds max because Reddit really isn't the place where people like to stick one place very long. This is the perfect rabbit hole platform. So their attention spans aren't going to be there for long form video content like YouTube. Now your video doesn't always play right away. So users will see a thumbnail that needs to be 400 by 300 pixels. You can either choose it from your video or upload your own. And the thumbnail file size must be 500 kilobytes or less. And another repetitive spec, you can control whether you want users to comment or not comment on your video ad. 
Now let's check out what this ad format looks like. I am using the same headline, but we get up to 300 characters and I've already uploaded my video. You see this one is only 15 seconds. The video ad format is the only format that's available to all campaign objectives. That is because one of the campaign objectives is video views, and the only ad you can create for that campaign clearly has to be a video ad. The other three that I'm talking about in this video are going to be available for the remaining ad objectives. But once again, we do not get any body text with this ad format. You do have the option to make the video that you upload a GIF. That means it will loop continuously. I'm going to skip that option for now. And as I just mentioned in the slide that we looked at for video ads, you have the option to choose one of the preview images that Reddit selects, or you can add a specific custom thumbnail. And that was all in the specs that I just showed you. In this case, a destination URL is not required. So I'm going to remove the display URL that I had set up within the image ad. The reason you would do this would be because you want someone to focus on the video and the message within the video, engage with your brand, and not necessarily visit your website. Of course, you can add your destination URL and display URL, just like we saw in the image ad. The same rule about allowing comments is right there. And then you can also have a call to action. It would be very odd if you had some sort of call to action, like shop now, without any URLs. I personally have always put a URL with my Reddit ads, so I don't really run into this issue too much. But just to clarify, if I X out of this, a call to action for a video ad is optional. All right, now let's talk about our final ad format. The last ad format we're really going to go in depth about is going to be the carousel ad. Of course, you get 300 characters for your headline. Just like the image ad, the acceptable formats are JPEG, PNGs, and GIF. File size for each image card must be 20 megabytes, and you have to have at least two images that are part of your carousel, but no more than six. Really, the only accepted ad ratio, because they are going to be square cards, will be a one-to-one -one ratio. 1200 by 1200 pixels is preferred, but if you are running a desktop-only campaign, you are allowed to use 1200 by 628. For each card that you include with your carousel ad, you get a caption up to 45 characters long. And in this case, a destination URL is mandatory for each card. Whereas as we saw in some of the older formats, a destination URL is not an option if you really focus more on just awareness and engagement. The thumbnail image is 400 by 300 pixels. This is recommended for the classic mode viewing. File size again, 500 kilobytes or less. And again, you can control whether you want to allow users to comment on your ad or not. So. Let's see what this ad format looks like. For the carousel ad, I already went in and added all of the elements. Didn't want to make you sit through all that. There is our 300 character headline. In this case, I've added three image cards. If I scroll down a little bit, I'll hop between the three so you can see it change within the preview. So for the first image, and this is the only square image I had, there's the destination URL and then display URL, and I chose a specific call to action. Now those three elements can change for every card. The destination URL changed, I left the display URL the same and the call to action changed. Now I did say that the recommended aspect ratio was one to one square, but I didn't have a ton of square images ready just for this demo. So I just uploaded the main image we use on our YouTube channel. It will still show, but you see there's a good amount of white space above and below the image. So it can look a little funny and I understand that this image cramps a lot of words towards the middle. I personally do not like the white space at all, so I would really not run carousel ads until I had all the square images available. And looking again that the destination URL and the call to action will change for the third card. Yes, the message doesn't match the image, that's fine. Scrolling down a little bit, I put the same caption under each of the cards. This is where it would appear within the ad format. And while you're not seeing it on the preview, there will be arrows for a user to just click through and go through the story that you want to tell with your carousel ad. Moving down a little bit more, there's the thumbnail image for the different views and the ability to allow comments. Now, one more thing I want to do before I get to my final part is jump back up further in the campaign settings. I believe it's going to live under objective. Okay, I was wrong. It's the actual ad group. Currently under beta is a feature called automated ad creation. This is just like dynamic ads within Facebook. You're going to give Reddit a bunch of headlines, media, meaning your images and videos, and Reddit is going to compile the ad to test out a variety of different formats. So now that I have this checked and go back to the ad details, here's where you can add up to five headlines. Each of them still has to stay within the 300 characters. Add in up to five images or videos. Understand that all of them, no matter what combination Reddit is going to choose, will all go to the same URL and use the same call to action. 
So if you think you're going to be limited by creatives and you're not going to do as much ad testing as you want to, understand that this is a newer option. And I'm assuming it's going to be available to all advertisers because this is our demo account. We've never done actual client ads via this account and we still have access to this feature. Now this last part of the video is going to be for you big spenders out there. And I mentioned in the intro, I'm not really going to talk about premium takeovers because not every advertiser is going to be able to use them. Premium takeovers are a managed service. You have to reach out to a rep at Red Hat Ads in order to do them. And I'm highlighting this section right here. You can only work with a managed team if you commit to spending 10K or more in a quarter. Most of my clients don't have that type of money, which is why I'm not really going over it that much. But here is the link on the screen right now, and I'll put it in the description of the video as well if you're interested in some of these formats. Takeover ads do have some additional features where your brand can really get in front of a user a lot of times. You can see in the option right here, you're going to be the top brand a user sees for 24 hours in certain placements. Going down a little bit, you could be the only brand a user sees when they're trending popular topics. And then there's other ones. So again, check out the link in the video description if you want to learn more. One thing Michelle and I love to do is just test out different ad channels for our clients. You don't always have to run to Google and Facebook right away. We feel you should go to the platforms where you can find your target audience. If you want to dip your toes into Reddit ads, set up retargeting. It's available. See how many of your current site visitors just visit Reddit ads for fun and maybe you can re-engage with them. You now know what ad formats and what creatives are going to be necessary to get your ads up and running so you can prep ahead of time. Hopefully this video was helpful and you at least know what specs and formats are available for Reddit ads, but if you have any questions, about what you can or cannot do with the ad formats, please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the super thanks button.